Hello everyone, welcome back to Farm Center 22. We're back here on Elm Creek with Grover Games. The last month we ended up getting all our sunflowers sold for the season. We ended up picking up a new picking up a new field and we got that all taken care of as well. It already had canola planted in it. And we went out and got it limed and fertilized, so that's ready to go as well. Right now I decided I know Johnson's keeps the Johnson's family market keep asking if I can bring some wool in, so I decided that we're gonna sell this small load of wool to them. I figure we still got about four thousand liters in our spinnery that'll keep it busy for a while. And this morning I was checking on our oil mill, and it looks like we finally burned through all the sunflower seeds we had turned in oil. So that's that's officially on the shutdown right now, unfortunately for us. But we're Hopefully in a month or two we'll get that filled with canola and hope and we'll be able to make some money off that and, that and, and continue to keep that operating through and through. But it, it seems like it it produces this, produces it pretty fast compared to the spinnery. I figured it'd be about the same rate, but no, it it definitely is not, and it went through everything pretty fast. So the plan after we get this stuff sold to Johnson's here is we're going to swing by our spinnery and also pick up all the fabric we have there because it it looks like the fabric price was around 3800 this morning when I checked and once we get that done we got ourselves kind of a busy planning day ahead of us we got oh we got sorghum to sow and then we'll I don't know if we'll work on forgetting stuff fertilized because I know they said that oh what's it called that crop sensor is supposed to only work good in direct sunlight. But I think we might do it anyways just to make sure we get everything wrapped up. So we'll probably have some weed control to do this more today yet along with getting some, oh, get some of our other fields fertilized as well. I kind of look at this morning's contract. I was really hoping to find some sewing contracts for that 12-row planter. But it looks like they were all picked up right away. There's quite a few fertilizing ones out there. Speaking of which, I'll have to go pick up some fertilizer, too, before we head back to the farm, so I'll have to remember to do that after we get this, get all the fabric picked up and sold. But that's kind of the agenda to, for today right now. We don't, we don't have a whole lot going for us right now, just because with the, I guess with the cot, I'm still kind of down at that down about the whole cotton situation but you know there's not much I can do about it right now we just have to accept what it is and accept that our spinnery is going to be producing a little less for a while back this up here okay. started tur cranking it a little too tight right away there we go but we're going to get the trailer trailer loaded here but you know what, I, we, we aren't doing too ter terribly bad. I, I suppose I shouldn't be too upset. Granted, we won't be making much as much money the, as we did that one year, but you know, we still got a really good amount of fabric here, the way it looks. Oh, I mean to do that. But I'm thinking it's going to be a while before we decide to invest into our next business adventure just mainly because we can't even keep the other business we have now fully occupied and I kind of I kind of would rather have the be able to do that just keep both of our place our businesses occupied full time I mean the spinnery is not an issue right now it might become a little bit just because we sold a bunch of sheep last episode I think we sold about we sold about 24 head of sheep, which is actually quite a decent amount for our size of farm when you think about it, because we only can we only can have a close to 100 head, so that's already a quarter of our sheep population gone. The one thing I should really consider at some point is putting up another chicken barn, or seeing if there's a bigger one I can find, so that way we can produce more eggs and we have more. We can start going through our winter bar our barley a little bit faster for feed so that way it doesn't start to spoil on us. But 
like I said, we'll we'll hold off on that adventure for a little bit. I still need to I still need to get us another shed so that way we can start picking up a few more pieces of equipment. And I like I said last episode, I've I'm pretty committed to Oh, buying field 36 and 37 next is on my list, just because, like I was talking about, I know it would be really easy and convenient for us to buy the fields like 40 or 50, 41, 50, or 54, but with with looking at the soil types on it, I, I want to get the most for our investment right now, just because that's kind of what this ser series has been about, is investing smartly, so to speak, granted. I may, I may or may not have done that too well in this suit. It's for some of our financial choices so far, but I, I don't think we've done too bad. Like I, I'm pretty sure the one purchase I could have held off on was the New Holland, but I'm sitting here thinking that it was still a good purchase and I'm thinking later on down the road, our next big purchase for a piece of equipment might be a bigger drill as well. I haven't, I haven't really looked at any so far. We should, we actually, we should probably actually look into that today a little bit. Yeah, I don't think that would be a bad idea at all to look, because I do have quite a few different drill mods. I would like to get up to about nine meter, a nine meter whiff drill, just because. With us starting to head towards planting a lot more in canola so that way we can start utilizing our oil mill more versus having sorghum on the farm. That wouldn't be a bad idea. The only thing that is unfortunate for us is that where we're plan planning to plant the canola for next year, we might have to double crop our sunflower. I shouldn't say double crop. We're going to have to probably plant our sunflowers back on where we had sunflowers the year before which might affect our yield a little bit just cause it's taking the same nutrient it's basically pulling up the same nutrients and not not cycling out the different pests that could we could get from having sunflower there and such I just realized there's a collectible over there I've never noticed before for all the times we've been here I'm gonna go over and get it before I forget it again. So we made over a little over seventy-three thousand dollars off that. It looks like. So I wonder. With me thinking about picking up another drill, I want to see what I had for options again because it's been a while since I last looked. To be honest with you. Cedars, cedars, cedars. There it are. Because I still kind of want to stick with the, the no till setup we've been doing. The Great Plains one wouldn't be a bad option for us. Or the John Deere, really. I think, let's look here. Um, hmm. I don't think the Great Plains, Plains one is no-till though, are they? No, ne neither of those are no-till drills, so. That's kind of unfortunate for us, so. The only real option that is no-till would be this. Uh, no, not that one. Well, that is a no-till one, but we don't need fertilizer. Would be this horse one here. That's also no-till. Hmm. I'll have to sit here and think on this for a while. I thought I might have more options than that. I know that there's a Great plain. I did pick up a Great Plains one that does literally all every crap, but I don't. I don't really want to invest into that one. 
Looks like more of a twin row planner too, to be honest with you. Yeah, I really wouldn't want to... That's just such a massive planner too, that I don't really want to jump that high. I don't even... I definitely know that won't fit into any of the buildings we have right now. I'll have to think on this and see if I can maybe find a different no-till mod as well. No-till drill mod as well. Maybe I can find something that will fit fit our needs a little bit better in the meantime. But we're going to jump into time lapse here. I'm going to go buy two things of fertilizer. And then we're going to get to work here getting everything sold and taken care of on our farm. So we'll see you guys in a bit.
You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this filling in. I wanna dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I wanna bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back home Ourselves. Didn't have much, but nevertheless, we were true to each other, but now we don't even bother. I remember you being hopeful, but the tall waves have worn us down, and slowly we are drowning. That's why you need to come with me, with me, with me. Turn around 180 degrees and cross the sea. I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back home
my end And we don't need to do the things we don't want to do All right, everyone, we're getting to the point where we're going to start wrapping this episode up. We got quite a bit done today. I th I thought we are going to have time to do some contracts today, but drilling took us a little bit longer than I was expecting, to be honest with you. I thought it was going to fly by pretty fast, but we do have quite a bit of ground now, it seems like, that we were able to keep pretty busy, especially with all, when we do our own all weed control and such, but I... I honestly thought we were going to have time to at least knock out one or two contracts and get some more cash flowing in. But you know what? We're, that's fine. I mean, this is this was the whole goal of the series to get to the point where we can start mainly working on all our own stuff and trying to get, take care of our own farm. And I've got to say, I'm, I'm happy with how far we've come so far. And the one thing i got to say is, you know, spraying with this spot sprayer is kind of memorizing memorizing just watching just watching it hit the spots where all the weeds are at flipping all the switches on and off for the nozzles for burnt for applying the herbicide it's it just i don't know what it is it's just nice to watch and it's kind of funny when you sit here and think about it how little of herbicide we're burning through now ever since we got this sprayer it's it's crazy to think about. I still thought we would have gone through quite a bit, but we we just really haven't burned that much through anymore, which is a really nice feeling. But anyways, we're going to wrap this episode up today. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.